Yo what's up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make this first patch here. Now if you want direct access to this preset and all the other ones in this video as well as loads more make sure to check out my website in the description. Let's get into the video. So let's start with an initialized preset and we're going to start on oscillator A. We want to pick basic shapes, lower that down two octaves and then we want to pick six unison, detune it And then turn the phase and the rand off. Turn the level down. Let's get oscillated B. Basic shapes again. Up an octave. And we're going to pick 8 unison this time. Turn the detune down. And the phase and the rand off. And the level down. Now let's go to LFO1. Pick envelope and turn off BPM. Let's use it by the Hertz. So let's go down to 1.4 and then let's shape the LFO. So let's create a new point, put it down here, create another point, put it up to around here, curve this off, use this point to bring down to here and then curve this, oh, curve this off. And we should have a sub right now, if I apply this to the LFO. There we go. Now what we want to do is go to oscillator A and FM from B. And then let's turn this up. We should get this sound. Let's go to 36. Let's create the filter. Apply it to B and turn the cutoff down to around about between 70 and 80. Apply the LFO to it. Then let's turn the res up, the drive up, and the fat up. Now we've already got a pretty cool sound there, but let's go to the FX tab and make it even cooler. So let's add some distortion. on 69% and let's go to the modulation down here and apply a macro to it so about 50% let's get the chorus turn the rate down apply the same modulator to it Turn the mix down. Now let's get a filter. And apply a band 12 to it. Turn the cutoff down. Now it's time for compression. So we're going to turn the gain up, multiband on, and then this down to 75, and this up to 145, 6. And you can hear it now. Now let's get the EQ on. There we go. Now, uh, if I put this into here, we can go over some final EQ. So if you wanted to add a sub bass to it, what you could do is EQ this. 
I've added a camel crusher on British clean and just adjusted the setting slightly. <laughs> And then I've added a Pro L just to limit it, stop it clipping. So if we grab the pattern and apply it here. And then what you can do is duplicate it and turn this into a sub bass. So in channel 31, I can grab this and I can just switch this around. Now we've got a sub bass and I can apply it to the same place. Let's add a pro L, turn it up. You can hear that. So here you've got the sub and a bass, and then once you mix it properly into a mix on your track, it should sound pretty fat. Now this sound isn't exactly like the one that's from the preset pack. So if you want the exact one, make sure to check out on my website. But there are lots of different things you can do to adjust the sound. So change the cut off. change like the length of the note and you can change the macros so you, I could change the distortion the compression apply some semitone or seventh so there's lots of stuff you can do and then you can obviously change this FM here So you can really make pretty much an endless amount of sounds with this one stab. So I recommend playing around with it, seeing what fits into your track the best, and then going from there. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy. <laughs>